shall have no other gods before me. Ye shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or on the waters below. Ye shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the fathers. You shall not commit murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. My name was Max Fisher. I was a conspiracy writer. My death was untimely. Even after my death, no one respects my work. I'm ridiculed by everyone. Can I help you with anything, sir? No. Not today. Then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. No. I'm not dead. But one day, my life will flash before my eyes. I hope it's worth watching. People just don't care about cover-ups or conspiracies. My website never get visitors except for me. I can write whatever I want. They don't care, I don't care. Magazines write fake stories all the time. Let's call you the secret. Mr. Max Fisher, I'm a federal agent. Am I under arrest? You need to come with me, sir. Hello, Max. I'm Agent Smith. Do you know why you're here? Why am I here? What did I do? It's about your website. Last night you posted a story. Is this what this is all about? A simple phone call would have been sufficient. Since when has the government cared about fictitious stories? Fictitious? Your stories are fake, yet so truthful. Agent Smith said my story was authentic. Can this really be true? I made it all up. Nobody pays attention to me. Now, now, don't say that. We certainly took interest. Who are you people? We are a branch of the United States government called Paragon. What is that? By definition, Paragon is a pattern of excellence, parallel to perfection. What exactly is your job here? To protect the truth. From who? From humanity. From ourselves. 
We can't fail. Failure does not exist. The Mayan civilization was not abandoned by its people. What I'm about to tell you is not written in any history books. The Mayans were visited by extraterrestrials from another planet. The outsiders did not come here in peace. They came for a specific purpose. Destroy and repopulate their species on Earth. Who were these visitors that exterminated the civilization? Who or what is capable of such animosity? I only know of one species capable of such calamity. Humanity. We are the visitors. It's finally settling in, isn't it? Ironic how your little white lie becomes the truth. We're not from this planet, Mr. Fisher. But we are strong. We adapted to our new way of life. We had no other choice. No other choice? What happened to our world? Earth is heading toward the same path of destruction as our old planet, Naiburu. We abandoned our home. Our resources were depleted. Our choices were to wait for death or find an underdeveloped planet to take over. We chose survival. Now that I know the truth, what will become of me? Don't be naive. The minute you published your article, your life came to an end. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who revere. Your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed.